everyone, we're so excited you have come to join us today. We're talking about possums, very, very furry possums, in particular a ringtail possum, and you'll get to meet one. Can't wait to see, let's go. Hi, I'm Robbie. Hi, I'm Susie. Hi, I'm Miss Carly, the teacher. It's time for Home Time with Robbie and Susie. I have hands. I have hands. Watch me clap. Watch me clap. Oh, oh what a miracle am I. I have feet. I have feet. Watch me stand. Watch me stand. Oh, Watch me swing. Watch me swing. Oh, what a miracle am I? I have legs. I have legs. They can bend and stretch. They can bend and stretch. Oh, what a miracle am I? Oh, what a miracle. Oh, So very special, there's nobody quite like me. I have a spine, I have a spine, it can twist and bend, it can twist and bend. Oh, what a miracle am I! I have a one foot, I have a one foot, watch me balance, watch me balance. Oh, That we Hey everyone, we're super excited to talk about possums today. I have a really special possum that I have a song about. It's a sugar glider. And sugar gliders have special parts of their body where they have little bits of skin, means they can glide through the air. Would you like to sing it with me? Come on. She's as sweet and gentle as her name implies with a little button nose and big white eyes. She's a furry little creature in a bird's disguise. Nothing can hold her down. She's a sh sh sugar glider high above the ground. She's a sh sh sugar glider. Nothing can hold her down. Let's sing it again really loud this time so I can hear you. Are you ready? Ready. She's as sweet and gentle as her name implies with a little button nose and big white eyes. She's a furry little creature in a bird's disguise. Nothing can hold her down. She's a sh sh sugar glider high above the ground. She's a sh sh sugar glider. Nothing can hold her down. Thank you so much. I'm really excited to learn more about possums. Come along. Hi everyone. We are going to be reading a story about a possum as we're learning about possums today. The story is called Good Morning Possum. This is it right here. So Good Morning Possum. It's a beautiful possum on the front. We have a beautiful gray furry body, claws, Wonder what she's holding in her hands. We have a big brushy tail, pointy ears, a pink nose, and whiskers. 
and she has a flower in her hair. Good morning, possum. Good morning, possum. Early one morning, near Ironbark Creek, Blossom the possum had nothing to eat. So high in a tree and all on her own, she picked a red plum and took it back home. That's what the red thing was. It's a red plum. She looks very happy. Out on the branch came a rum rumble tum. Tree Mouse was hoping to share Blossom's plum. With a rat a tap tap and a squeal of delight, Mouse politely asked, may I have a bite? Yes, just a wee bite, and if you agree to not eat it all, please save some for me. But Mouse didn't listen. He went pit patter skip and took a big bite with a nip nibble nip. Nip nibble nip. Blossom had none, not one little bit. That's not very nice. Out on the branch came a rum rumble tum. Galah was hoping to share Blossom's plum. With a rat a tap tap and a squeal of delight, Galah asked politely, may I have a bite? Yes, just a wee bite, and if you agree to not eat it all, please save some for me. But Galah didn't listen. She went squawk twitter twoo and took a big bite with a peck peck chew. Peck peck chew, nip nibble nip. Blossom had none, not one little bit. Out on the branch came a rum rumble tum. Lizard was hoping to share Blossom's plum. With a rat a tap tap and a squeal of delight, Lizard asked politely, may I have a bite? Yes, just a wee bite. And if you agree to not eat it all, please save some for me. But Lizard didn't listen. He went step shuffle stomp and took a big bite with a gulp gobble chomp. Gulp, gobble, chomp, peck, peck, chew, nip, nibble, nip. Blossom had none, not one little bit. Out on the branch came a rum rumble tum. Fruit bat was hoping to share Blossom's plum. With a rat a tap tap and a squeal of delight, Bat asked politely, may I have a bite? Yes, just a wee bite. And if you agree to not eat it all, please save some for me. But Bat didn't listen. He went screech, screech, crunch and took a big bite with a gnaw, munch, munch. Gnaw, munch, munch, gobble, gulp, gobble, chomp, peck, peck, chew, nip, nibble, nip. Blossom had none, not one little bit. Poor Blossom's looking a little bit sad. Down on the ground came a rum rumble tum. Dingo was hoping to share Blossom's plum. With a snap bellow bark and a sneer of delight, Dingo asked slyly, may I have a bite? Do dingoes eat plums? Hmm. Blossom didn't answer. She knew he had plans to eat her for breakfast if given the chance. Licking his lips, he growled and he groaned, but Dingo couldn't reach. So he whimpered back home. Possum's in there hiding. Safe in the tree, they pecked and they crunched. They nibbled, they gnawed, they chomped and they munched. They gobbled and they chewed till there was no more. Not a taste, not a trace. They'd eaten it all. Blossom had none, not one little bit. Her friends ate all her plum. Later that morning near Ironbark Creek, Blossom the possum still had nothing to eat. When out on the branch, she heard a scritch, scritch, scratch. Grandma had arrived with a rat a tap tap. She bought a big basket of red juicy plums and from high in the tree came a yum, 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 yum. So taking a bite and sharing the treats, Blossom the possum at last got to eat. And there she is in the tree with all her friends. It was very nice that Blossom shared her, her plum with her friends. 
I think it was a little bit sad though that her friends decided not to share with her. Do you share your food at home? I like to share my food with my friends. Did you like that story? I thought it was such a lovely story about sharing and we could see all the wonderful animals from Australia that we're learning about this week. And we have our beautiful possum, Blossom. Do you like possums? Have you ever seen one? We have something very exciting to share with you next. We actually have a friend that is bringing a ringtail possum to come and teach us about and to help us learn about possums. So come along and let's go have a look at it. friend here can you see this is my friend Shani everyone say hi Shani here she hi is guys and she has brought a special friend well, who have you brought for us today so this is little Archie the ringtail possum and he's super cute so he's about four months roughly of age and as you can see he's super little cute. Um, and still a little baby so generally he would still be uh, with his mum right now but unfortunately he's a little orphan so he's been on his own um, and we've taken him in to look after him until he gets a little bit bigger and then he'll get released back into the wild. Beautiful. And who, when you say we, who's we? So Wildlife Ark. So we care for any Australian native animals um, that might be orphaned or um, injured and we'll take them and rehabilitate them and then release them off into the wild. Wow. So what does a day look like with our friend? So we get up in the morning and little Archie here, he'll have a morning feed of some special milk. So he has special possum milk formula. So he'll have like a little bottle and then he will sleep for four hours. And then again, he'll have another feed and through the day, every four hours, he'll have a feed of milk up until late at night. And then again, early in the morning. Wow. And so he hasn't got a mum, so you have to do all those feedings. Yes, yeah, so I'm his mum, so I everything I, I look after him in every way. Um, in the way of milk, I have to clean him up, um, wipe him over, all that kind of stuff. Yeah, wow. And he's not the only one you have at home? No, so I have a lot more at home. Um, so they all come in to care different ways, um, different situations, I guess. Yeah. Um, so some of them might just be orphaned or maybe they might have hurt themselves and we just look after them that way and Beautiful. until they're ready to be back released into the wild. Wow. So if we find a possum in the wild, even big ones, what should we do? So the best thing to do is contact Wildlife Ark or there's other uh, places like Wires, but Wildlife Ark is one on the central coast that you can contact for any Australian native animal, um, whether it be a reptile or a bird or a possum, yeah, wow. macropod, anything like that. Wow. Um, and we can get a specialised carer for that animal to come out and have a look and you know give it the best care that it might need. Great. Yeah. I have a possum in my backyard. Yeah. Do you know what they might, if we have possums at home, what could we do to help them have a home in our backyard? So generally the best thing is to just let them do what they naturally would do. Um, if you've got any Australian native trees around, they'll be jumping through those trees at night having a good feast. Great. So the best thing to do is leave them and let them do their thing. Um, if you want them to stick around, you can always plant lots of Australian native plants. Great. Um, or you can make things like what we call a dray, which is like a possum bed and yep. hang that up in your trees and that gives them some nice shelter and an area to stay where they're safe. Great, that sounds great. We might even put a link on the bottom so you can make one for your house as well. Yeah. Yeah, thank you so much. Is there anything else you'd like to tell us about this friend? So little Archie, he's on his own at the moment. So generally ringtail possum, so the difference between a ringtail and a brushtail possum, the easiest way is their size and little short ears, whereas your brushtail possums have quite um, pointy big ears and the tail's also different. So this little ringtail possum, so Archie's got a little white tip at the bottom of his tail. You can see him holding onto my finger there. Um, whereas your brush tail possums have quite a, a black big bushy tail and they're a lot bigger in size. They can be about the size of a cat. So little Archie will never get that big, even as an adult. But generally that is your difference between your two 
your two possum species of Australia and they're the most common around. Beautiful. Yeah. Thank you so much for coming in. That's okay. It's so beautiful and so soft to touch. What a, what a privilege. Thank you so much. Thank That's you okay. everyone. <laughs> His feet feel so amazing on your hand. He has beautiful pads underneath and the claws hardly touch. So gorgeous. He's sniffing my hand looking for something. I don't know what it's on me. Maybe some lemon for my lemon water. Sniffing around, having a look. It's so soft. You can feel his fur. He's got black fur. We come out in beautiful black whiskers, so many of them. We are going to make a possum soon. Love for you to come and join us. <laughs>
a leg. I might need a new one. I can get you one. Thank you. You're welcome. And I think I'm going to curl my tail. Kind of like this. And I may even do two together to make it very, very bushy. That's a good idea. Because the ring tail, oh sorry, the brush tail. Brush tail has a very, very bushy tail. Yeah, so I'm gonna wrap my pipe cleaner around to make an extra bushy tail. You can bend it whichever way that you want. Curl in yours. Thank you. So my ringtail possum is looking a lot better with our one, two, three, four legs. But it's missing something on the face. Should we put some eyes and maybe even an ear on? Yeah? We're gonna do that next. Can I please borrow your blue, Lauren? You sure can. I like to share with my friends. Oh, so good. I think I'm going to draw a smiley face too because our possum today was so friendly. So smiley as well. Mm. Have you ever seen a possum, Anna? Yes, I have. I have a possum at our house. Wow. And we leave fruit out for the native birds. Yeah. And sometimes at night time, we hear the possum go <coughs> along the veranda eating the apples that are left over mm -hmm. by the birds. The birds just eat the outside, but the possum eats the core and everything. And we go out with our torch so we could see him easily, and his eyes flicker back at us. Wow. It's a big brush tail possum, not a small one like we saw today. Not like the, the ring tail possum we saw today. No. I've seen possums in the bush, and I've actually seen a sugar glider. Oh yeah. And I saw it jump from tree to tree, and its arms go out wide, and you could see the skin along the side. Wow. And it looked like it was just floating through the air. It was very, very small. Um, but we, I have also seen the brush tail possums, where they have, um, they jump all over my uncle's roof and they make a lot of noise mm. but they love i see them i see them eating the um the flowers in the trees oh yes and they um they really enjoy that and you see the nibbling and they um it's very fun to watch them eat yeah and and also see them eat flowers mm. they like to eat the nectar outside of the beautiful brush I think they're called brush, the bottle brush is the one, the big red brushy uh, flowers. We have some at our house and they like to get their tongue in there and get all the nectar out. It's yummy, yummy treats, like sugar for them. Mm. So I noticed on the ringtail possum that we had today, mm. it had a pink nose. Yes. So I decided to draw a pink nose on. I don't have black, but I'm going to create, I think maybe yellow whiskers idea. I couldn't believe how many whiskers it had today. There's so many. So many more to find fine food, I think. I think I'm just missing one more thing, which is the ears. Well, I made an ear out of my gum leaves that I found today. Wow. And it went bushwalking. And um, it's nice and pointy, like the possum we saw today. That is really cool. I am going to create it with recycled magazine. Good idea. And so, so many different things we can do it with. And I think the possums have to be really good at hearing and smelling mm. so that they can, because they're nocturnal, so they come out at night time, so they have to be able to see very well in the dark, smell very well to smell their food, and to be able to listen mm. really carefully to hear all those animals at night time. Wow, what a great job you did. I love that yours has that such a bushy, bushy tail that sparkles. Mm. I love it. I love your curly tail and I love how it looks like the ringtail possum that we met today. Mm, so good. Well, I wonder what you are going to make. I wonder if yours would look even different than ours. There's so many things at home you can use or at preschool to make a beautiful possum. 
Thank you so much for joining us today. What a great time we had learning all about possums. We can't wait to see you again tomorrow. Bye.